Hi, second grade. It's Miss Anderson here. It is Thursday today, which means we have our music class. So we are going to start with our hello song. So sit up nice and straight for me. And I want you to sing out nice and loud. Ready? One, two, ready, go. I'd like to say hello to you. I'm glad you do um, I believe last week we played poison patterns and I believe we sang hi ho the rattlin box so I hope that you liked that one I know that one was kind of tricky um, all right so what we're gonna do because we kind of skipped this last week I just we're gonna do a couple more um, letters in this book remember this one M is for melody and each letter has something to do with music right so we go all the way through M but we're gonna see if we can go just a little bit further today. All right, so we're gonna start with N today. So N, right here. Now N is for note. Can you follow along with the notes in the staff of your favorite song? Each note fills a space or sits right on a line. The lines spell every good boy does fine. And I know we talked about that in music class a little bit, um, but if you look, right here, right? We have our treble clef. They're talking about the notes on the staff. So E, G, B, D, F. Every good boy does fine. And then remember the word that um, is spelled in the spaces right here, face in the space, F-A-C-E. Okay. So when you learn to read music, you learn the notes are labeled with letters of the alphabet. When you put them together to read, you can play musical sounds just like reading words. Each note rests on a group of five lines and four spaces called a staff. There are five, uh, two main clefs, okay? There are two main clefs. One looks like this. That's the treble clef that we know, right? It's not very in focus. Treble clef, and then there's the bass clef. We have only really learned about the treble clef. In the treble clef, the spaces are spell the spaces spell face, face in the space, and the lines spell out every good boy does fine. So that's what we just talked about. So N is for notes. All right, let's move on. All right. Oh. Okay, so O. And O is for the orchestra where people play as one. Woodwind, strings, percussion, brass. It sounds like so much fun. Encore, encore, please play one more. So they talk about all four um, families, instrument families that we've talked about in music class. The strings, the brass, what are the other two? Woodwinds and percussion, right? Good. All right. So an orchestra is a mixed body of instrumentalists who work together performing symphonic music and other works. But there are several types of orchestras. A symphony orchestra is a group of usually 85 or more players who can play elaborate works of music, while a chamber orchestra is a small version of a symphony orchestra, usually consisting of 15 to 45 people. A string orchestra means that there are string instruments only. Well, a theater orchestra is a small group that plays to accompany the theatrical productions. But most um, orchestras that you hear will have all four of those families. So it's not just strings. Most orchestras have all four of those families that we just talked about. All right, let's do another one. P. P is for percussion, a family that we just talked about. So P is for percussion. Come on and move your feet. It makes you feel like dancing when percussion gives the beat. Kettle drums are timpani, bells and cymbals grand. Find yourself some pots and pans and make a kitchen band. So like last week when we did um, poison patterns with the pan, right? I had you guys grab a pan or something like it from the kitchen and you made your own drum that's 
the same as percussion. All right, so over here in this paragraph over here, it says there are two types of percussion instruments. Rhythmic, which means it plays a rhythm but no melody and includes all sorts of drums as well as timpani and cymbals and melodic, which means, so the first one is rhythm, the other one is melodic, which means the instrument can provide rhythm and melody such as um, a xylophone. The percussion instruments provide rhythm and beat to music and percussion players often get to play more than one type of percussion instruments. So percussion instruments are pretty, they're pretty common. There's a lot of them and anything that you can hit like a drum is technically a percussion instrument. All right, let's do, we're going to do two more pages here today. So the letter Q right here. The letter Q is for quartet. It means the number four. Four singers or four players. It's a form we all adore. Duet means two, quintet means five, a trio through our three, solo means all by yourself. It's easy as can be. So if there's one person singing or playing an instrument, that's called a solo. When there's two, do you guys know what that's called? When there's two, it's called a duet. When there's three, it's a trio. When there's four, it's a quartet. And when there's five people playing all together, it's called the quintet. And that goes on, but we'll just go up to five. So they're talking about a quartet. So right here, they have one, two, three, four people singing, which makes a quartet. There are many ways for people to organize their voices or instruments. One of the most common ways is a quartet, which means four players or four singers. One such quartet is called the barbershop quartet, which is a type of music sung unaccompanied in four part harmonies and rich chords. So a barbershop quartet is when it's either a group of, of men, four men or a group of four women get together and there's no instruments and they just sing um, voices only. Um, a duet means two people play or sing together and is a popular way to share music with a friend. Have you heard of the tune called Chopsticks? It is a popular piano duet you may already know. So some of you might have already heard of that song. All right, <clears throat> so Q is for quartet. All right, now we are on R. R is for rhythm. We should know what rhythm is. R is for rhythm. Can you feel the beat as it flows through our fingers and into our feet? And R is for ragtime, a hit for our nation. Just drag out a beat and it's called syncopation. All right, so rhythm we've talked about before, that would be things like quarter notes, half notes, eighth notes, um, those kinds of things. Over here they're talking about ragtime, which is a type of music that was really popular back in the day. Um, and that introduced syncopation. And they might talk a little bit about that in here, so I'll read this. Rhythm is the beat we hear and feel. It is one of the three most important elements of music. There are many different types of rhythm. Some are very simple, while others can be very, very complex. Ragtime is a type of music with a unique rhythm. It uses syncopation, which means the accents fall at unexpected beats on the melody. So an accent means that you emphasize one part of the song. All right, so it says an accent, the accents fall at unexpected beats of the melody, while the bass line remains steady. In ragtime music, the melodic line will fall either on or off the beat, resulting in a lively and original sound. One of the most well-known musicians and composers of the ragtime was Scott Joplin, born in the 1860s, who composed the Maple Leaf Rag and the Entertainer. All right, now ragtime was mostly piano music um and you'll probably i'm gonna play one for you um doo -doo 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 -doo. i'm not actually gonna play it but i'm gonna play it on my computer so you can hear it um this is called maple leaf rag written by scott joplin and it's one of the most famous um most famous ragtime pieces so see if you recognize it hopefully it works okay oh we have an ad hold on it's an ad for vacuums. Okay. Let's see. Okay, 
Okay, so here, you see a picture of him. He lived a long time ago. So ragtime was really popular, and as you can tell, it's really upbeat and kind of fast. Um, and a lot of people, it made them kind of want to dance. All right. So anyway, that is ragtime, which is a genre of music. Um, and see if you can remember that name, Scott Joplin, because he was really important during that. Um, let's see. Let's do, well, let's move on. All right, so last week with my some of my younger kids, we learned a song called Baby Beluga. And I think you guys might like this one too because it's kind of a fun song. Um, and it is about a beluga whale. So what I want you to do today or sometime, I want you to look up what a beluga whale is because they're, kind of, they're kind of cute looking. Um, but this song is all about a beluga whale. So we're going to learn it today. And I'm going to sing part of it, and then I'm going to have you guys sing it back. So the very beginning, the lines go, Baby beluga in the deep blue sea, swim so wild and you swim so free, heaven above and the sea below, and a little white whale on the go. All right, so I'm going to sing that much, and then I want you to sing it with me. All right, here we go. So just listen. Baby beluga in the deep blue sea Swim so wild and you swim so free Heaven above and the sea below And a little white whale on the go All right, so sing that part with me. Ready? Baby beluga in the deep blue sea. See if you remember the words. Baby beluga in the deep blue sea Swim so wild and you swim so free Heaven above and the sea below And a little white whale on the go All right. Now the next part is the chorus. It sounds like this. So the words are baby beluga, baby beluga. Is the water warm? Is your mama home with you so happy? So just listen. Beluga, oh baby Beluga, is the water warm? Is your mama home with you so happy? Sing that part with me, ready? Baby Beluga, baby Beluga, ready? Go. Baby Beluga, So that's the first two parts. So if you really want to learn these words, I'll see if I can remember. I'm going to try to remember to send out the words with this video so you guys can follow along. Or what you can do is you can just watch this video um, until you learn the words. Okay, so the next part, way down yonder where the dolphins play, where you dive and splash all day, Waves roll in and the waves roll out. See the water squirting out of your spout. All right, so I'm going to sing that much. Way down yonder where the dolphins play, where you dive and splash all day. Waves roll in and the waves roll out. See the water squirting out of your spout. Sing that part with me. Way down yonder where the dolphins play. Ready? Way down yonder where the dolphins play. Where you dive and splash all day. Waves roll in and the waves roll out. See the water squirting out of your spout. Now just listen. Baby beluga. Oh baby beluga. Your friends will like to hear you. 
sing that part with me. So, baby beluga, oh baby beluga, sing your little song. Sing for all your friends will like to hear you. Okay, ready? Baby beluga, oh baby beluga, sing your little song. Sing for all your friends will like to hear you. Now just listen to this next part. When it's dark and you're home and fed, curl up snug in your water bed. Moon is shining and the stars are out. Good night, little whale. Good night. Okay, so the words are: When you're when it's dark and you're home and fed, curl up snug in your water bed. The moon is shining and the stars are out. Good night, little whale. Good night. Okay, sing that part with me. Ready? When it's dark and you're home and fed, curl up snug in your water bed. Moon is shining and the stars are out. Good night, little whale. Good night. Now just listen. Baby beluga, oh baby beluga, with tomorrow's sun, another day. that part baby beluga oh baby beluga with tomorrow's sun another day's begun you'll soon be waking all right i know there's a lot of words coming at you so see if you can if you can rewind it and learn those words okay so sing with me baby beluga Oh, baby beluga, baby beluga, with tomorrow's sun, another day's begun, you'll soon be waking. Okay, ready? Baby beluga, oh, baby beluga, with tomorrow's sun, another day's begun, you'll soon be waking. Now just listen. Baby beluga in the deep blue Swim so wild and you swim so free. Heaven above and the sea below and a little white whale on the go. You're just a little white whale on the go. And that's the end. So sing that last part. So the last part is baby beluga in the deep blue sea. Swim so wild and you swim so free. Heaven above and the sea below and a little white whale on the go. And then you say it again. You're just a little white whale on the go. Sing that last part with me. Ready? Baby beluga in the deep blue sea. Swim so wild and you swim so free. Heaven above and the sea below. And a little white whale on the go. You're just a little white whale on the go. Nice job. Okay, so I know there's a lot of words. So let's go back just a little bit. Um, I'm gonna say a line. Actually, I'm gonna sing a couple lines and then I'm gonna have you sing them. Okay, so me, then you, me, then you, me, then you. Okay? <clears throat> All right, so just listen first. Baby beluga in the deep blue sea, swim so wild and you swim so free. Now you, one, two, ready, go. Baby. Now me, heaven above and the sea below, and a little white whale on the go. Now you, now me, baby beluga, oh baby beluga. Now you, me is the water warm is your mama home with you so happy you now me way down yonder where the dolphins play where you dive and splash all day now you me wave 
waves roll in and the waves roll out. See the water squirting out of your spout. Now you ready? Bow me. Baby beluga. Oh, baby beluga. Now you. me sing your little song sing for all your friends will like to hear you now you now me when it's dark and you're home and fed curl up snug in your water bed now you me. Moon is shining and the stars are out. Good night, little whale. Good night. Now you. Moon is shining. me with tomorrow's sun another day's begun you'll soon be waking now you now me baby beluga in the deep blue sea swim so wild and you swim so free now you You're just a little white whale on the go. Now you. All right, good job. Okay, very quickly, last time, we're going to sing the whole thing all the way through. See how much of the words that you remember, okay? And if you have the words in front of you, you can always look them up too. You can use that, all right? But this is the very, very last time. All right, here we go. <coughs> One, two, ready, go. Baby beluga in the deep blue sea. Swim so wild and you swim so free. Heaven above and the sea below. And a little white whale on the go. Baby beluga, oh baby beluga. Is the water warm? Is your mama home with you? Where the dolphins play, where you dive and splash all day. Waves roll in and the waves roll out. See the water squirting out of your spout. Baby beluga, oh baby beluga. Sing your little song, sing for all your friends will like to hear you. When it's dark and your home. That's the whole song. Okay, so second grade, I hope you have a wonderful week. We're going to be doing some other stuff next week. Um, maybe some more games, stuff like that. So have a great week. Um, get outside, go play, have fun doing your schoolwork, all that fun stuff. I will see you next week. Bye, second grade.